Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. This evening, I received a question about what do you do if you have an ISO and an Xbox emulator original doesn't boot. Um, basically, what I use is Extract X ISO for anything that deals with Xbox because it'll extract the ISOs and create a directory or it'll create the ISO for you as well. So I took the liberties of taking a ISO off my Xbox and we'll try to get it to boot. So in this particular case, we have Spider-Man in the USA. As you can see, the Xbox emulator does not like this ISO at all. So what I would do if I was to run into this situation, I would shut down the machine. And then you download this latest bill here, which all links will be down in the description. So I extracted the executable in the same folder where I keep the ISO. So I'm a drag and drop guy. So basically what I would do is I would extract it by dragging it and dropping on top of the executable. As you can see, it made a folder, Spider-Man USA. So I'll take it down to just Spider-Man, make it more. And then I will open up the other Xbox emulator. This one particularly cares for directories. It doesn't like ISOs or I can't get it to boot a ISO, but basically what I would do is, now that I have this extracted folder, I would go to where I keep or extracted the data and try to boot it. As you can see right here, this logo, so we definitely know it's an Xbox game because we have this logo. So now we'll try to boot it. Well, as you can see, it definitely boots. So we definitely know it's an Xbox game. I mean, if you'd like to use this particular emulator, I guess that'll be the end of the tutorial. But that's not the end of the tutorial, so let's get back to the business. So the next step to recreate this ISO so it will work with the original Xbox emulator, what you do do is you would highlight the folder, like so, and say Spider-Man. You're gonna hold the shift key and you're gonna right click and you're gonna go to PowerShell. Now that you have the PowerShell window open, you want to basically come out of that directory because you're gonna use that to make the ISO. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to take a directory to an ISO. So in this case, you just copy the command, which it'll be listed in the description below. You're gonna copy it, go to PowerShell, paste it in, change the directory name to whatever the name of the ISO that you currently have. So in this case, we have Spider-Man. And then you hit enter. And it's just that simple. You open up your Xbox emulator. And you want to load the disk. So you click the newly created ISO and you hit open. Just joking. You have to basically load the ISO and then hit the reset button. And as you can see, now it works. It definitely boots. I hope this helps out. I'm gonna do a little gameplay just to show you that it does work. And if you have any questions or if I can help, I'll try to help as best I can. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. This is how my story begins. The 
this is supposed to be the Skull's territory. I'll find Uncle Ben's killer if I have to go through every one of the Skulls to do it. This might sound crazy, but what is he really swinging on? Is that the sky? I don't know. Well, I guess it's that good game. Alright, y'all take it easy. Hope this helps. Good night.